and that man is jealousy. He is a jealousy dog. <laughs> he doesn't share. Please remind this man how cute this <laughs> friend of his is. I've said this a thousand times. If you don't like someone, don't give them hope. Show them once and for good. Yanni, I'm not interested in you. It's me and I Fenake again with another video reaction. It's a love so beautiful. Epitin. Where well, we ended last week. New and co started dating. Now it's official. Remember they are at university. They aren't high <laughs> scholars anymore. No, 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 no. They are above that. They are university students officially and i'm so happy for them i'm so happy for these two and i'm here for their relationship i'm really glad that these two officially started dating they made it official because <laughs> ko is so good at taking care of you she is the best partner ever i don't know if that is only me who thinks like that or everyone else thinks the same way. But that is it for me. And we have to... <laughs> this love triangle between To, <laughs> Som, and Chad. These three. Oh my god, these three. To likes Som. Som likes <laughs> Chad and Chad. <laughs> we don't know what. <laughs> we don't know what he really thinks. His actions say something else and he does another thing. He promised. He promised to help Som with her studies. But since she started studying so hard, he has not even helped her once. I don't know why. He says he is so busy. And I'm like, you are busy in the first year. How will it be in your second year, your third year? How will that be? If you are so busy in the first year, how is it going to be in your second year? How is it going to be in your third year? I have a lot of questions. By the time we ended that episode, he wanted to, to do something that wasn't interesting to me. I wasn't happy with it. You haven't expressed your feelings towards this girl. You are trying so hard to hide how you feel. You don't want to let her know how you feel. And then you want to kiss her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That concerned me. But Yanni, I'm not the writer. And I can't do anything about it. But I don't want that to happen. Please, as we start this episode, don't let that happen. It's not yet time for me. That doesn't excite me at all. It's not the right time for them. He should first say something about how he feels. If he feels something, he should confess first. At least let her know. Let her decide whether she wants to date you or no. But those things of wanting to go beyond friendship without saying a word. You're using actions. And uh, later you will deny the fact that you like her. Pretend, act like nothing happened between you two. I don't want that to happen, please. Anyway. I'm already leveling a lot, but yeah, let's get into this episode. I'll catch up with you at the end of it. I knew she could do it. I knew. I knew. I knew. 
บ้านนะแม่พี่หัวดูมากพี่จะกินตอนยังไงสบายเหมือนบ้านเราไหมเผลอๆแม่คงคิดถึงต้องเหมือนกับทิ้งไม่ได้นอนไม่หลับไม่หลับ Oh please <laughs> don't say that we all know that you will do so she is your only daughter <laughs> you have no other That is true. I I can see where this conversation is going. Oh my god. Uh huh. I can size him up. Okay. And I mean, he has been like this. This father has been so protective of this girl, but I like this conversation. I like it. This is how parents should be. They should open up. They should talk about these sensitive questions. I mean, topics that most of the parents are scared of talking about. They should say something. Okay. Those eyes. She will never forget the way he looked at her. <laughs> oh What am I doing? <laughs> I think Sam is going to dream about this for the rest of her life. <laughs> He will be in her dreams and be like, "Oh my God!" Please, please. It's not the right time. <laughs> okay, I thought he was going to throw her like this to let go of her, and she falls down. But thankfully, he didn't do that. Well, I'm so happy that the dad was able to talk about that, so that she knows. So that she knows. I'm so happy. One is so tiny as well. <laughs> She is the perfect. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> for this role. Oh my god. Oh, she is so strict. Oh 
Oh my god. She's not going to stay with her. I thought they were going to stay together. Oh, I was wondering as well. What is wrong with her? Why is she behaving like this? Well, she is so strict. That is why she's like that with you. That is her personality. She's a leader. Oh, that is how they behave. They mean business when it's business. They don't joke around. Oh my god, these are the goals. But they told you no boyfriends are allowed and you're wishing to have a boyfriend. <sighs> they are naughty already. Oh my god, look at her behind them. She's cute. <laughs> Wow, it's organized. Look at the way this one is behaving. <laughs> mm, that is not bad. It's not that. It's not that messy. I like that. They are just two. That is beautiful, and the girls are four. That is not fair. Four girls in one room and two boys in one room. Also, boys should be four. All girls as well should be two. Why is, is this not fair? ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไ
Well, I hate this guy. I hate him. I see. <laughs> Thank God I'm far away from him. Because, I mean, if I was next to him, I would have shaken him like me. <laughs> He is unbelievable. He is unbelievable. It's, it looks like he is not happy, yet he is the one who invited her. I mean... Yeah. Here like this. He is disappointing me each and every day that passes by. He keeps on doing it over and over. Oh. I think some with the other girls, they are four in one room because they are freshers. I mean, it's their first year. I think that is why they are like that. What is that? What is that? What is that? That look is sassy. <laughs> we have a problem. And that man is jealousy. He is a jealousy dog. <laughs> he doesn't share. That is what I like about him. <laughs> he knows that if someone is mine, she has to be mine. I and I alone. <laughs> of course, you shouldn't even ask that. And don't do that again. Don't keep those papers until you're single. Right now you have someone in your life. Respect that. Have boundaries. Please don't keep such papers. <sighs> I don't know why you would keep such a paper when you have someone already in your life. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't.
Because <laughs> these are medical students. I mean, what do you expect? She's a fine heart student. Oh my god. Mm. But that is risky. Oof. You have to talk to your girlfriend first. Of course you do. Oh. Of course you do. This is. I don't like this feeling. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. He doesn't see that. Please remind this man how cute this <laughs> friend of his is. Oh my god. Do that. I like it. Keep reminding him. And this one is cute as well. <laughs> It looks like 
it looks like some is going to struggle with a lot of girls this time around more than in high school and these are university students cute girls more than the one she used to Funny and cute at the same time. Oh my god! <laughs> I <won't. sighs> is helping him <laughs> i mean after all they are best friends <laughs> pretty bad you need to improve your acting skills she's acting jealous <laughs> all of a sudden I can feel you. I can feel you so. Abdomen, thorax. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> just a pain. <laughs> That's tricky. <laughs> there are topics. <laughs> He doesn't look like someone who needs help from you.
Why are you standing there looking at them like that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Making your father and mother proud. I know this girl. I know her, I know her, I know her, I know her. <laughs> ah, I know her. I don't actually remember her name, but she was in uh, Find Yourself. You remember Find Yourself? <laughs> the series that almost killed me. <laughs> oh my god, it is one of the best series that I have ever watched on the MMTV. It's one of the best. Find Yourself. It was literally and definitely find yourself as you hear it. <sighs> she was a friend of Minty with another guy. Minty, you know Minty. Minty core was Minty in find yourself. If you didn't watch Find Yourself, if you didn't get to watch uh, Find Yourself. Oh, no, 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 please. But he wants to give it a try because you will never know without. Sometimes we need to risk. 
to get something without taking a risk you won't be successful sometimes you need to take a risk and see at least even if it fails you'll be like i tried my best without giving it a try how will you know how will you you have to give it a try first let him take the risk i know i like him a lot because i mean if something happens to him oh my god <sighs> but i want him to give it a try i want to see him growing older he is a good man Oh. <laughs> now I know why he always touch this. That is right. Don't give her up. I've said this a thousand times. If you don't like someone, don't give them hope. Show them once and for good. Yanni, I'm not interested in you. But those things of keeping people hanging, hoping that something will happen when you honestly know that nothing will happen. They were teasing her, I think. I didn't like that. I mean, they didn't even bother waking her up. That is <laughs> that is so hard. I mean, that is the real song. She is clumsy. <laughs> Okay, my. Then, 
Look at this face. <laughs> I saw this in the reviews. <laughs> that is why I'm like this, because I know. What's your name? I think you should just tell her that you're going for a surgery so that she waits for you. But the things of asking her to marry you, thinking that you will keep her, won't help you in any way. You should just tell her. He is crazy. What if it does? What are your plans? You should tell her before you go for surgery. Honestly, she deserves that. I didn't expect that from you. Please. She is the first person you have to talk to. It was really hard for her to wait for you last time. And this time around, it's official. You are a couple. You have to talk to her. Don't keep things to yourself. We know that. We very well know that you like her, you love her a lot. Yes. Let them fix their own problems. Oh, that is amazing. Wow, she is so good. She is so good. <sighs> Yes, you are. Please. 
compliment her. <laughs> I told you that she's going to keep these moments for the rest of her life. <laughs> she needs nothing more. Mm -mm. This is enough. Why are you closing your eyes? <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I know. You know, this... It won't happen. Let's, let's not have hope. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for him. I might sound crazy, but I don't feel sorry for Chad. He he deserves everything that he is going through from the coming episodes. Starting with episode 11 until when we end this series. He deserves all that. I mean, we've had 10 episodes already. And this guy is showing no interest in her. Okay, we have started seeing something in this episode. But it's not clear as well, you know. <sighs> He's so good at hiding how he feels. So I want him to suffer. So that he can open up. I want him to get jealous more and harder. I think other men should get interested in this girl. They should compliment her more so that he can get jealous. So that he can be pushed to bring out his feelings. I want to see him pouring out his heart. I want to see him pouring out everything that is he is keeping inside. Anna, I need to put some sense in this boy's head. Bring him to me. Give me his phone number. I need to call him now. <laughs> it's just a matter of saying, I love you. I, I more than like you. Because yes, we know he likes her as a friend. Because they are best friends. But we want to hear something more than liking. Yes, I love you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you not as a best friend but as a lover. Let's grow together. Eh? Yeah, so that they can grow together. They still have years. <laughs> but this boy, ah, I want to slap him like this and tell him wake up, wake up. But I can't. Well, uh, I need to talk to him because things are not moving they would have been lovers already I don't know what they are doing huh honestly okay 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 anyway with new not wanting to tell Cole about his condition about the surgery he wants to go through I don't support that. No, 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 no. I don't support that. I want a relationship where two lovers can talk to each other about anything, can open up about anything. What bothers you, what you don't like, what you want to do, what you're going through, anything. As long as it concerns you both. They should talk about it. Before you tell your friends, you should talk to your lover first. Because this is something... That must might it might cost you a life. So please talk to her. What if you don't return? What if you the surgery fails? What will happen? So 
you're planning to just go for it. What if you spend more than one year, two years, anything in the coma? Like before, you spend two months in the coma. You guys remember. And this girl was waiting for you like nothing. But remember, by then you weren't yet official. Today you are. What if you go into that surgery and you don't wake up for the years we don't even know? What will you tell her? So you expect her to wait for you when you even didn't tell her? So please, please, someone should talk to you. Whoever is next to him, whoever is his neighbor, please cross over and talk to this boy. I don't want him to annoy me. I don't want, I like him a lot, but I don't want him to annoy me now. He should talk to his girlfriend first. Don't go for that surgery without talking to her because we don't know what's going to happen after the surgery. What if you don't wake up? What will you tell her if she doesn't wait for you? If she gets tired of waiting for you? Would you blame her? You won't blame her because, I mean, you even didn't tell her in the first place. So I want him to talk to her. I don't support that idea of him going for a surgery without talking to her first. They are now in a relationship that makes them one. Period, period, period. So guys, I'll catch up with you in the next episode. That will definitely be AP 11. Until next week. Bye-bye. I love you all. Thanks for watching.